I'm Alice and I'm standing here in the Emancipation Station. Uh, this is a program created for women who may be homeless or near homelessness, coming out of homelessness, or women who just may want to come and be in a social environment with other women. Uh, the Mayor Funkhauser just presented us this proclamation for National Women's Health Week. National Women's Health Week empowers women across the country to get healthy by taking action. And whereas this nationwide initiative coordinated by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office on Women's Health encourages women to take their health, to make their health a top priority and take simple steps for a longer, healthier, and happier life. And whereas it is important to celebrate National Women's Health Week to remind women that taking care of themselves is essential to living longer, healthier, and happier lives, and whereas research shows that when women take care of themselves, the health of their family improves. And whereas it is the focus of National Women's Health Week to educate wives, mothers, grandmothers, daughters, sisters, aunts, and girlfriends about the steps they can take to improve their health and prevent disease. Now therefore I, Mark Funkhauser, Mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, along with the City Council, do hereby declare that the week of May 11th through 17th, 2008, be known as Women's Health Week in the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Signed, Mark Funkhauser, Mayor. National Women's Health Week means a lot to me because we don't take care of ourselves. I'm a witness. We're so busy taking care of other people until we neglect our own health. Uh, I've decided to take care of mine so that I can do the work uh, that True Light and Emancipation Station does amongst w other women who don't take care of themselves. Women who don't have access to health care coverage. Women who use the uh, emergency room as their primary physician. We need health care. There are seven out of 12 women on the city council. So as a council, we are really committed to making sure that we are healthy and strong and we keep the needs of our women, constituents, and the men uh, in mind. And I'm glad to celebrate this week. It really is important to take time out to do things for yourself that will make you healthy and a better caregiver to others. You, know, you have to take care of yourself if you want to be effective. Yes. If you want to get the job done, if you want to take care of the child or anybody else, if you're not healthy, if you're not strong, it doesn't work. June 25th, 1979, I was dying. The doctors called uh, my family to get there as quickly as possible. I lay in a coma for five days and I, I woke up. And the doctor simply said, we don't know why you're living, but you are a miracle. And I think that when the doctors come around in droves and say, you're a miracle, uh, indeed, I am a miracle. But we don't have to get that sick. We don't have to get that sick at all. And so we want to prevent it. 